in the set of real numbers, we have rational numbers and we have irrational numbers. A rational number can be expressed as a quotient, some number divided by another number, as q over p. For example, two-thirds is a rational number. If the number can be written as a fraction, then it is rational. 0 0.5 is a rational number because that's the same as saying 5 over 10 or 1 half. Even 7.333, where the threes go on forever, is a rational number because it can be written as 7 and 1 third. Irrational numbers cannot be written as a quotient. So you'll see numbers such as pi, some special numbers like that, and a lot of radicals are irrational. The square root of 2 and the square root of 3 they cannot be expressed as a fraction. There is no repeating value or decimal number or q over p values that will get you to the same number as root 3 or root 2. So a lot of, of radical values are irrational numbers because they cannot be written like this. However, note root 16 that looks like it might be an irrational number because it's a radical, but it is not an irrational number because root 16 is the same as 4, which can be written as 4 over 1. Classify each of the following as rational numbers or irrational numbers, and we'll circle the rational ones in light blue, and we'll circle the irrational ones in that reddish-orange color. Root 9. Root 9, even though we know that a lot of radicals are irrational, root 9 is not irrational because root 9 equals 3, which can be written as a fraction. So root 9 is a rational number. 27 over 55, that's already written as a fraction. That is, an, is a rational number. 0 0.49, that can be written as 49 over 100. That is a rational number. One third is a fraction, that's a rational number. Negative root 11. There is no fraction that will give us a value equivalent to root 11. So this is an irrational number. Zero, that is a rational number. Now we already did root 9. Root 9 is also a rational number because it equals 3. Cube root of 71. There is no simple rational value that this can be calculated out to. If you were to do it on a calculator, it would give you 4.1408177494242 and continue on. There's no kind of pattern to that decimal number that comes out if you take the cube root of 71. Therefore, it is an irrational number. Pi, we know to be an irrational number. There's no um, way to rewrite it as a fraction. Root 1.2, we're not going to be able to rewrite that as a fraction. And last but not least, we have a decimal value that is repeating on forever, but there doesn't seem to be any sort of pattern in here. Remember, for example, 0 0.333 is the same as one third, but this is just a never ending repetition of numbers with no particular pattern to it which then makes it an irrational number. It can't be written as a fraction.